it was quite interesting to see you again. We are here from the Eurovision family, so we saw you already in Tel Aviv. And, uh, Bardzo dziękuję za ten, za, dziękujemy za ten film dokumentalny. Jesteśmy właśnie z rodziny Eurowizji, widzieliśmy was w Tel Awiwie. We could admire your intelligence as well. Uh, because I mean all your press conferences or your meetings with press, uh, you treated us as a regular people. That's what you said in the movie. I mogliśmy też podziwiać waszą inteligencję we wszystkich spotkaniach z prasą, ponieważ traktowaliście nas jak normalnych ludzi. But uh, uh, my question is because my impression from the documentary is that actually the main cause was Palestine of your participation in the Eurovision Song Contest. Natomiast moje pytanie dotyczy tego, Nothing że wydaje more? mi się, że waszą motywacją do uczestnictwa w Eurowizji właśnie był temat e, Palestyny. Czy było też coś więcej? I will right. interrupt, right. but feel yep. free to answer. Okay, me first, or... or. Take it, Mati. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks, yeah, thanks for having me in this uh, Q&A. And, uh, and thanks Bardzo to everyone cieszę, for... Mogę uczestniczyć w tej sesji pytań. And for, thanks for having this film on port, obviously. It would have been nice to uh, be in Warsaw with you. Uh, yeah, why... Why did we participate? Uh, it was, of course, many different reasons. I think we sensed a certain um, absurdity and and conflict and and uh, and sort of. Um, Yeah, this this atmosphere we we pictured of having Eurovision in in Israel. Um, we we thought we had the tools and and maybe the voice to to say something about that. And of course, uh, Palestinian rights were a huge reason. But as as you probably saw in the movie, there were there were many reasons for for doing this. I think Ragnar, uh, the artist that is quoted in the movie, says it quite well. Like, despite all the politics, uh, you know, when you have a really good pop song that you believe in, that sort of also is at the core of this matter. Tak jak powiedziano było w filmie, oprócz polityki, jeżeli ma się po prostu bardzo dobrą piosenkę, to ona też jest jakby podstawą całości. I'm not used to having a, a translator. Thank you for translating my comments. Um, I, You're welcome. <laughs> I don't know if it's necessary, but we always need to do it if there is someone, in case someone doesn't speak English. So Sorry for interrupting, yes. but otherwise I will need to invent no answers. Problem. It will not be good. I feel very sort of... Uh, Uh, important to have a translator. Thank you for for doing this. Um, yeah, I hope that answers the I hope that answers the question. Uh, of course. Mam nadzieję, że to jest do odpowiedź na pytanie. Advocating for for Palis the Palestinian cause and Palestinian human rights was a huge part of our participation. Oczywiście bardzo częścią była walka o Palestynę, prawa prawa człowieka w Palestynie w uczestnictwie w. w But w also. Uh, Real, reality is always complicated and there's always many reasons for everything. Rzeczywistość oczywiście jest zawsze bardzo skomplikowana i jest bardzo wiele powodów różnych rzeczy. Okay. Okay, so uh, I will jump with my question. To ja się tu wcisnę ze swoim pytaniem, skoro już jestem. Um, there could be many like obvious questions but i'll ask uh, a personal question which you are free not to answer if it's too personal chciałam zadać osobiste pytanie na które oczywiście można nie odpowiadać for me it's striking the contrast between all the bdsm aesthetics and like the, the great fragility i see in you and you know We are on Skype, so I cannot hug you. But um, <laughs> you know, can you elaborate on this? Because uh, it's like totally 
opposite and you cannot hide it. Some, some people, uh, you know, hide it, but with this aesthetics you show it even more for me. Więc moje pytanie tutaj dotyczy oczywiście tego kontrastu między całą tą e, estetyką Sadomaso i przynajmniej jak dla mnie ogromnej wrażliwości, którą można zobaczyć. I ja mam przynajmniej takie odczucie, że jeszcze te e, stroje e, nie chowają tej wrażliwości, ale wręcz ją potęgują. Um, so you're asking about the sort of different personas, me personally, and then Hatari, or? No, I'm asking about you personally. Are you into BTSM? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that the question? <laughs> um, yeah. No, well, no, it's, that's not the question. I'm sorry, could you repeat the question? I'm, I'm a bit having trouble. Is it about why they use No, it's more about the, um, your fragility as an artist and how you deal with it. Bardziej chodziło mi o wrażliwość artystyczną i o radzenie sobie z nią. Right, like fragility I don't know if I experience it as fragile. Um, I think I think I think it's empowering. Nie wiem, czy właśnie jakąś jakąś kruchość czuję to raczej jako mocną siłę. To um, express yourself with 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 art. Myślę, że to jest raczej e, siła, to, że można siebie pokazać poprzez sztukę. Okay, maybe up to the <coughs> that in the film he says that. <coughs> they've always been able to hide themselves behind the costumes. Tak, ja tu chciałam dodać też, że przecież w filmie mówią o tym, że ukrywają się, mogą ukrywać siebie pod tymi kostiumami. And maybe the film pushed them a little bit to be more personal and I they dropped the masks a little bit. I możliwe, że właśnie przez film e, mogli trochę zrzucić swoje maski, pokazać swoje osobowości. Yes, I agree and um, I think I think this whole process as well Uh, we lack we lack the audience and the cameras and the press and everyone get a little bit closer to i wszyscy się tutaj zbliżali do nas to our personal identities i think if if i would have been doing a q and a like this uh, two years ago or three years ago brał udział w takiej sesji pytań 2 3 lata temu we would have done it very differently i think we would have try to make some sort of costume or setting or Myślę, że byłoby to zupełnie inne, byłoby jakieś kostiumy, przebrania. Find some kind of twist. But uh, now like I feel that these floodgates have been opened and I'm just sitting here uh, at home, you know. szukali jakiegoś innego kąta pokazania tego, a teraz czuję się dobrze, wygodnie po prostu siedząc tutaj. In a very casual setting. Właśnie w taki wyluzowany sposób. But maybe that was the fragile part when that costume started coming off a little bit. And no, and możliwe, że właśnie tutaj mamy tę wrażliwość, kiedy kostiumy zaczęły trochę opadać. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's like Clemens also said, it was hard to stay in character because the reality was so harsh out there. Tak samo jak w filmie powiedział Clemens, że bardzo ciężko było cały czas pozostać w kostiumach, bo ta rzeczywistość była tak ciężka. Hello, my name is Gosia and I would like to thank uh, your movie director for this great document. It is a pleasure for uh, Hatari fan. Chciałam uh, podziękować za ten film. Jest to przyjemność dla fanki Hatari. To um, to watch this documentary uh, and uh, the whole process uh, how it was to go to Eurovision Zobaczyć for Hatari film na ten temat i ten cały proces przygotowywania i wyjazdu zespołu Hatari na konkurs Eurowizji. And especially this uh, shocking moment from this uh, uh, journey uh, this uh, to with Bashar to this uh, 
this uh, city which was uh, like a prison and or something like that. I ten szokujący moment podróży z Basharem do Hebronu. Yeah, and I have a question for Matthias. Uh, do you plan in the future together with Clemens and Einar uh, to collaborate with Bashar or other artists uh, from um, the countries like Palestina? Czy uh, planujecie znowu zabrać się w przyszłości, żeby współpracować z artystami e, z takich miejsc jak Palestyna? Yeah, that is my question. Awesome, thank you. Uh, uh, yes. yes. Uh, we do, <laughs> uh, and uh, we already had a few things planned. Actually, that COVID, uh, of course, sort of postponed indefinitely. But uh, for example, uh, uh, Bashar obviously came to Iceland Airwaves and played at a few of our concerts. Oczywiście and, Bashar przyjechał na Islandii i zagrał kilka koncertów. The designers at uh, Trashy Clothing which are sort of mentioned in the film um, the Palestinian designers of trashy clothing they they were underway to come to um, design march it's sort of like a design festival in in Reykjavik that had to be put off clothing będzie współpracować z festiwalem w Reykjaviku so our dancers Solpier Austros Andrean they've been uh, in contact with them and planning a fashion event i też nasi tancerze są z nimi w kontakcie i planują e, e, imprezę modową. And they're okay, still planning you. it. Uh, yeah. And we yeah. want to go to uh, Ramallah as well to play with Bashar. Okay, I great. Chcemy pojechać do Ramallah, żeby zagrać z Basharem. Thank you for your answer and wish you good luck and uh, yeah. Thank you everyone for uh, for you uh, Uh, Matthias and uh, all the Hatari members and movie director for this great job. Thank you. Bardzo serdecznie wam e, dziękuję członkom zespołu oraz pani reżyser za ten wspaniały film. Thank you. Clement There's a and film. And Aina, they say hi by the way. Uh, they couldn't be here, but they they wish us all the best. Pozostali członkowie zespołu także przekazują pozdrowienia. There's a film actually by a Palestinian director which is screening tomorrow called Mayor and it's about Ramallah and so if you have time go and see it because Ramallah is amazing and I'm told that it's film, an amazing film. It's a film about Ramallah, the Palestinian director, so I very much encourage you to see this film. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, nice to see you. Uh, I am uh, working with Eurovision also for uh, for a few years, and ja the, czasu współpracuję the, z Eurovision. that was the place when I met you for the first time. I and I saw that uh, you always have everything planned, uh, like uh, all the interviews on the press conferences were so perfect. So uh, you were so you had always planned how sh everything should look like. And also the Zawsze movie. wszystko planujecie, jak wszystko powinno wyglądać. This, this was film. interesting that you thought before that uh, okay, we don't not only want to do Eurovision journey and all the things, but we want to uh, do the documentary about this. And I want to ask to uh, also the director about uh, the work, film, uh, um, how the uh, how you came uh, met together and started to co collaborate about this movie. A panią reżyser chciałam zapytać o tym, jak, o to, jak się poznaliście i jak zaczęła się praca nad filmem. Uh, I already knew them, especially the drummer. Ja już ich znałam, zwłaszcza perkusistę. And um, they had the idea of making a mockumentary. I and oni mieli pomysł na to, żeby <coughs> zrobić e, mockumentary. And I had just um, started a film company myself. A ja już dopiero co zaczęłam swoją e, własną filmę produkcyjną. And I was working with two, a couple of um, British directors called Ian Forsyth and Dane Pollard. Pracowałam z, z reżyserami brytyjskimi. And I told them that I thought this was an interesting story if they would win in Iceland and if they would go to Israel. And because the, I'd, I'd been following them since they came on I the scene. I że, że to byłaby bardzo ciekawa historia. 
obejrzeć ich na Islandii i potem śledzić ich ścieżkę do Izraela. And it kind of appealed to me that they were bringing politi politics in, in the front of their art. I przyciągnęło mnie to, że do swojej sztuki y, włączali także politykę. But also I thought it would make an interesting story to see if they could cut through the mainstream with this kind of grassroots act and uh, and bring or get attention to something like that in, in such a big mainstream myślałam, event. Myślałam, że będzie ciekawe pokazanie tego, czy uda im się przebić przez mainstream właśnie y, takim aktem, jak w filmie został pokazany. And we agreed, um, my British collaborators and I, that mockumentary wouldn't do this story justice. So we proposed to them that we would do a documentary and they would themselves ja take care of a mockumentary side of things. Brytyjscy uznaliśmy, że mockumentary to by nie była dobra forma, nie byłoby pokazanie prawidłowe wszystkiego, czym oni się zajmują. Zdecydowaliśmy, że my chcemy zrobić normalny film dokumentalny. Yes, uh, yeah. just to add to that, I think, I think uh, we always had a clear feeling that we had to document whatever we were doing, but we didn't know what shape it would sort of take. Now I can't hear you guys. Um, do you hear me? Oh, yeah, there you are. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, we, pr we sort of prepared to have people come with us to document But then obviously Anna and Ian and Jane, they were so professional and coming from another direction that they sort of had that side covered. So this other... ...że będzie nagrywanie, natomiast ludzie pracujący nad filmem oczywiście byli profesjonalni, przygotowani do tego. Yeah, so this other um, side, this mockumentary side of things kind of evolved into a very different thing and it became uh, Iceland music news. Uh, dot com. They had sort of little uh, episodes about the daily ongoings of what was going on there. Ta wersja bez dokumentary jest na stronie internetowej, która tutaj została zacytowana. It would have been a very different movie, and <laughs> I'm very glad that we went this way and that we got Anna and Ian and Jane. Inny to, film, a ja cieszę się, że poszliśmy tą drogą. To see uh, this whole journey from the outside and and make their own movie about it. Pokazanie całej, całej tej podróży i zrobienie pełnego filmu. And that was very important to us, to separate it, to be on the outside. So I never wore a, a hatter costume. <laughs> I dla nas było bardzo ważne oddzielenie tego, bycie, bycie na zewnątrz, więc ja na przykład nie, nie ubrałam kostiumu hatari. But I have to say, we benefited greatly that the cameraman was very close to hatari and that was why we could get so close to them. Ale kamerzysta był bardzo, bardzo blisko e, Hatari i dzięki temu e, też bardzo skorzystaliśmy, jeżeli chodzi e, o film, bo mógł e, wchodzić do garderoby na przykład. So, so Baldwin, who's the cameraman, he kind of has a... Uh, yeah, he, it was a great part of getting uh, such an intimate movie to have him Praca kamerzysty a też sprawiła, że mieliśmy dostęp do takich bardziej intymnych momentów. He directed a few of our, our videos. Our videos. He's great. I też great. wziął udział w niektórych naszych wideo. One more, one more question. Uh, concerning difficult moments when you were in Israel, there were moments when you were really scared, uh, when you could feel that be afraid of something. We saw your reactions after showing already f Palestinian flag after during the voting process, but there were some other moments when you were really scared. Czy były kiedy przebywaliście w Izraelu jakieś chwile, kiedy naprawdę się baliście, bo my tutaj w filmie widzieliśmy ten moment chwilę po pokazaniu flagi palestyńskiej, że właśnie jest ten strach, ale czy były inne chwile? Okay, I I can say for myself, um, I felt a lot of responsibility out there. Ja muszę powiedzieć ze swojej strony, że ja czułam tam dużą odpowiedzialność. And there was a lot of adrenaline going on because we were Often in situations that we'd never experienced before. Oczywiście było bardzo dużo adrenaliny, bo bardzo często znajdowaliśmy się w sytuacjach, e, na które nie byliśmy przygotowani. But I hired two Palestinian crew members and one Israeli crew member, so we were never in any danger, and they took very 
good care of us. So Ale wśród naszych członków zespołu były dwie osoby z Palestyny, jedna z Izraela i nigdy nie było żadnego napięcia. So in in comparison to what happens to the people in this region, we were never really in any danger. But yeah, there, there was innych ludzi, którzy są w tym regionie, to nie byliśmy w niebezpieczeństwie, ale oczywiście było bardzo dużo adrenaliny. And the heart was pumping from time to time. No i od czasu do czasu mocniejsze bicie serca. Yes, I agree. There was um, uncertainty and uneasiness and, and uh, adrenaline sort of going on all the time, I would say. But apart from the evening itself, with the flag and the song and everything, um, I think our visit to Hebron was very... Um, I, I don't know that we were ever in danger, but it, we felt very uneasy and uncertain. Myślę, że nasza wizyta w Hebronie, nie wiem, czy była niebezpieczna, ale nie czuliśmy się do końca komfortowo. Czuliśmy się niepewnie. That's the sort of main one I can think of. Ja myślę, że to jest taka główna sytuacja, którą sobie przypominam. And I think I said when, after, um, when we when we were discussing the soundtrack of this movie. Myślę, że powiedziałem oh, kiedy rozmawialiśmy z ścieżką dźwiękową filmu. Uh, I think it captures very well sort of the tension and the nervousness that that kind of like stretched, uh, stretched over is like three or four weeks and it's compacted into 90 minutes. And there has to be an emotion to it, and I think a lot of the soundtrack. Uh, yeah, a lot of the soundtrack captures that feeling. Myślę, że ta ścieżka dźwiękowa w jakiś sposób przekazuje to uczucie. And uh, the, the soundtrack is by Margaret Brown, who's an amazing Icelandic musician, and, and she really, she really felt. jest również e, autorstwa muzyka islandzkiego what the movie was about and was really capable of bringing the emotions into sound which was a joy który mógł poczuć bardzo mocno temat filmu i poprzez swoją muzykę przekazać te emocje które e, również film ukazuje First of all, thank you so much for the documentary. As a Middle Eastern that has a lot of Palestinian friends, it's really important. And I have a question for Matthias. Uh, so when your interest in Palestina, Palestine started, like what struck you that you started researching it and like Kiedy zaczęło się twoje zainteresowanie Palestyną? Kiedy zacząłeś zajmować się tym e, tematem? Od czego to się zaczęło? Yeah, yeah. thank you. That's a very good question. Um, Dziękuję, to bardzo um, dobre pytanie. I, I, I I started working as a journalist when I graduated from high school, I guess, Icelandic high school. And I, I, you know, you you grow up hearing news, obviously, but I think it was probably uh, Svet Runar. Svet Runar, he is a he he was a long time chairman of the of the Iceland Palestine Association. Myślę, że był Sven Grunar, który był przewodniczącym stowarzyszenia islandzko-palestyńskiego. Uh, I remember interviewing him when I was maybe it was my first summer working at this paper. I was I was 20 Myślę, years old. Myślę, że była moja pierwsza praca, kiedy pracowałem właśnie w tej gazecie. Or, or no, I was 19. Or how old was I? Uh, but he he definitely 19. He opened our eyes in many ways and and he also he, we met with him and his wife Björk uh, who are long time activists uh, for for um, Palestinian rights and they sort of prepared us and interviewed us and and gave us reading material and Może powiedzieć, że oni was very helpful. nas przygotowali dali nam materiały do czytania to było bardzo pomocne And then of course the dialogue with Bashar Um, widened, widened our perspectives. A potem oczywiście cała komunikacja, cały dialog z Baszarem, który rozszerzył naszą perspektywę. But I think it's thanks to people like Svet Runar and Björk uh, that Israel and Palestine are a fairly um, alive issue in Iceland. Um, 
Bardzo dzięki know, takim like ludziom jak Sven Grunat, jego żonie Bjork, ten temat Palestyny jest żywy na Islandii. I, yeah, I hope that answers the question. Czy ktoś ma jeszcze jakieś pytanie? To pytanie do twórczości Hatari. Czy są jeszcze jakieś niewydane piosenki i czy, czy będą jeszcze wydane jakieś nowe? So I'd like to ask about your creative work. Are there any songs that have not uh, been launched, published? Uh, yes. We're, we're currently working on an EP. Another sound went again. Um, Yeah, there you are. Uh, yes, we're working on an EP. We don't know how many songs will be on it. There are two or three old demos that we want to finish. And we'll see. We'll see which one of them, uh, which ones we, we, we manage to finish. And when we, when we publish them, we're not sure skończyć i które uda nam się wydać. Nie jesteśmy jeszcze pewni. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Bardzo dziękujemy Państwu za wszystkie pytania, za pozostanie z naszymi gośćmi, a naszym gościom za wspaniały film. Thank you very much for our great audience, for all the questions and ins uh, insights, and thank you very much uh, to the great director and to your band for for great movie we've been able to see. Thank you. Thank you.